I wanted to hear from you as to what's going on, you know, with working people here in Ohio. I think, you know, very often when we turn on the TV, we see a whole lot of stuff. We don't see the reality of life for working people and the struggles they are going through. We don't hear much about how the people on top are doing phenomenally well while so many of our people are struggling. As you know, we've got an initiative on the ballot here to raise the wage for 1.2 million workers in the state to $15 an hour plus tips and end the summit of wages for tipped workers, workers with disabilities and youth. I started working as a valet at a hospital for $8 an hour plus tips. Uh, tips were very inconsistent. The lowest I ever got for an eight hour shift was $4. The most I ever got was $30 made it very hard to pay for groceries, rent, the things I needed to survive, cat food. It felt like I'd get paid off Friday and I'd have to spend it all on Monday with things I needed to survive. Look, at the end of the day, I mean, this is my opinion, tips are great, but at the end of the day, every person should be guaranteed a certain basic income and tips are on top of that. I mean, that's really what we're talking about. You can't you know, you don't want to be dependent on my, oh, I'm in a good mood or I'm in a bad mood or you're two minutes late serving me something. You want to get be guaranteed a decent wage, and if you do a good job, you get a tip on top of that. That's good. I had to get food stamps so that I can get food for my kids. Someday it was just hard paying for diapers and then paying for personal products. Choosing between myself and choosing between when you taking care of my son, and you know, I always have to choose him. Some days choosing between, um, Paying bills or eating food. Raising a child is pretty expensive, right? Uh, you got food, you got diapers, you got all that stuff. It's tough when you gotta go to the grocery store and make like decisions. Raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour ain't gonna make anybody rich, right? But it may make it a little bit easier to pay the bills, to pay the rent, to breathe a little bit easier. They shouldn't have to choose whether they could get gas or if they could get food. Our job is to make sure that we begin the process, and I've got to carry it in Washington, that every worker in America, as a human right, earns a livable wage. End of discussion.